So in today's class we did talk about um, drawing people in perspective and um, of course just like with objects perspective works just in the same way on people. So we talked um, a little bit during today's class about creating a person by drawing kind of an extension of a stigma. So you've got your shoulders, you've got your hips, you've got your thigh, calf, foot, thigh, calf, foot and then from the shoulders which are a bit wider than the hips you've got your two arms an elbow and then the arm coming down to the wrist which should be a little bit above the halfway point of the thigh so now what we also talked about was doing that in perspective so let's talk about that now I'm going to draw a person at around eye height, so I'm going to have the shoulder slightly above my, van my horizon, the hips slightly below the horizon, and we'll start from that point. So I've got a line to my vanishing point one here and here, and I'm going to start with my shoulders right about there, and I'll put two dots on to indicate the um, shoulder joints, and then directly down. I'm going to change that slightly, yeah, directly down there, that'll be my neck. Now you can notice here, the distance from there to there is a little bit longer than the distance from there to there. That's because this shoulder is further away from me, so that will look shorter, that will look longer. Now the hips, I'm actually I'm going to change that slightly just to get it. The hips are going to be narrower than the shoulders, right? So the the hip joints, I'm actually going to make them a little even narrower than I drew them there. So those are going to be my two hip joints and, and my potato shaped head right there. And I'm going to start off by drawing the legs. Now the legs, if you want somebody standing up straight, are going to basically be two, two pillars. Right, so I'm going to just do two, two vertical lines down there. Now, of course, you can see they're too long. Right, I'm just going to make sure that they align with the backbone and roughly estimate the length of the thigh and the length of the calf. There. So that's probably a little on the short side, so I'm going to bring my knee down to there, bring the ankle down to there. Now, if this is my ankle point and this is my knee point, right, on the, on the leg in front of me, then I'm going to draw a line from that knee point to my vanishing point or from the vanishing point to the knee as straight as I can and that the other knee on the other leg is going to be about there because that's where the, van the line to the vanishing point goes. Same thing here, try to draw a line as straight as possible between my vanishing point and the point that I marked as my ankle and that's going to be the ankle on the other leg. So now, I, I, you wouldn't really stand like this, so I'm just going to make it a little bit more natural looking by having the knees bent a little bit forward. And then, I'm, of course, I need some arms, so I'm going to put in some arms. I'm going to actually put the arm there at the horizon, the, sorry, the elbow at the horizon. And I'll do the other elbow, obviously, at the horizon too, and bring the forearm down here to about just above the midpoint of the thigh same over here and that's my basic skeleton so now I can put some meat on the bones and the good the, the, the best thing to do is to actually start with the parts closest to you so I'm going to start with this arm and you've got to make sure that the arms are wider at the top and getting narrow as they get down to the bottom so that's my first arm, I'm not going to put a hand on it yet. And then the second arm, round off the shoulder slightly. I'll just do the outside of that arm to start with. And now the next thing closest to me is going to be this leg. So the thigh is going to be something like that. And it, as you can see, it's also getting narrower as it gets to the bottom. I'll just put a little, like it's his pants down there. And here, same thing getting narrower towards the bottom and then the arm furthest away from me keeping the as you know what I'm going to do the body in front of that arm to start with and then from what I can see of this arm 
and I'm going to put a thumb, right, if you were drawing a hand, you can draw this. If, it's, if you can draw better, you can draw something like this, because the hand actually gets a little narrower as the fingers get towards the end. But you, for the purposes of this, is probably fine just to do that. And then this side, something like that. So that's basically the body. Now we've got to think about the feet here as well. Um, so the feet are going to be, I'm going to draw a line to the vanishing point on the other side, vanishing point two from the ankle, and the feet are going to go off in this direction if he's facing this, facing here. And the same thing to that vanishing point, and the other foot's going to be at a slightly different angle. And then if I decide that that's the length of my foot, right there, that means that the length of the other foot is going to be defined by a line going to the vanishing point, like that. Now, he's got oh, <coughs> excuse me, only a stick for a neck right now, so I'm going to give him a bit of a neck. And that should be a reasonably proportioned picture of a person. Now, of course, you can add some extra shading for clothes and stuff like that. And make some adjustments if it doesn't look quite right. But basically, that should be okay. Now, if you really want to, you can, you can do some details on his face. Same thing is going to be true. If you give him some eyebrows, for example, that's going to be a line basically going to the vanishing point. Nose, you're going to see, because you're looking up towards his nose, you're going to see the bottom of his nose, and then you're going to see a mouth, which also goes to the vanishing point, roughly. So obviously this is still only very rough, and it's not that important, because really you're only in a design sketch, you're really just putting a person in very roughly just to kind of give an idea of what size your product is or how it's used, for example. But yeah, that's probably enough for a, a decent person. Now you can get give an idea of the profile of the body just by putting, a, putting in a jacket or something with a zipper down the front of it. So that gives the impression of the chest being a little bit more puffed out and under his arm is going to have a bit of a shadow. And then you can make a, a decent outline around him. And there you've got your person in perspective. Now it's up to you to give it a try.